Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're gonna set up an IoT network simulator called Kuja and we're gonna simulate a sky mode, several sky modes uh, with Contiki NG. So if you're not familiar with what Contiki NG is or what Kuja is, you can try to Google for these keywords Contiki NG and Kuja and hopefully that can help you to um, understand what they are. Today's particular setup is going to be on Windows 11. So if you have Windows 10, you can try to do the same step as well. So there are four steps that we need to do uh, in order to make the IoT network simulator to work. So first is you need to set up the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. And then we're going to have to build the MSP430 GCC toolchain from scratch. And then next we're going to clone the Contiki NG and then last we're gonna execute uh, Kuja and see if that works on Windows. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm in Windows 11 right now. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna search for about your PC and make sure that your OS build is at least 22,000 dot something. So if it's not 22,000 or something, then that virtual machine or W Windows uh, subsystem for Windows might not work. All right, next, you want to search for Windows features. So this is basically is going to turn on or off Windows features. And the features that we need, installing a virtual machine platform and hit OK for that. So Windows is going to try to install the required software for it. And at some point, you need to restart the computer. So just hit restart and let's wait for it. Give it some time for Windows to finish the virtual machine installations. All right, and we are back. Let's see that my password. All right, so we are back in Windows 11. So we got the virtual machine features is installed by now so let's go to the microsoft store and search for windows subsystem yeah, we found that just click that first one and hit install you can sign in if you want but I just skip that and allow the installation. So let's give it some time. All right, so WSS is installed. Uh, you can hit launch at this point, but since there is nothing in there, there's no Linux distribution installed, then it's basically just let you know that this is the instruction that you need to do in order to get any Linux distro uh, installed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna search for Ubuntu. And there are several version of Ubuntu that you can install. So I would choose the, the latest of 20.04.5 LTS and hit install. Again, you can sign in to get personalized personalized experience. All right, and that's done. And this is exactly where you want to hit launch. So when you hit launch, let me close that Microsoft Store. So it's gonna start installing Ubuntu 20.04 distro for you. Let's give it a minute and we'll be right back. All 
Okay, so we are at the point that we need to insert a username. You can put any username you want and provide with the password. Please make sure you remember the password. And there you are. So this is basically a WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux. This is Ubuntu distro. So if you if you're familiar with Linux, you can use this command to, to look around and PWD to take a look where your working directory is. And that's basically it. It's the exact same thing. If you try the new name, you see that says Linux. You can uh, find the complete um, name of the distribution. And just to prove you that this is actually Linux, you can cat etc lsp released and it's going to give you that ubuntu 2004. all right next step this is something that you have to do when you first install any linux distribution especially the ubuntu uh, linux you might want to do update and upgrade so type in sudo apt get update provide the password Give it some time. So it's going to download the latest packages from Ubuntu repository. All right, list of packages is updated. Now you want to run or execute sudo apt get upgrade. Hit yes for that. It's gonna take some time for this to, to upgrade the system. So I'm gonna fast forward the video and feel free to skip if you want to, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got our system updated and upgraded. So we are ready to go and move on to the next steps. So next we're gonna build the MSP 430 toolchain from source. So I already have provided the script for you. So if you go to a browser and type gist.github.com slash ekawaiu, that will be my name. And look at the first one, MSP for the DGCC, and click that. And if you hit that raw button, that's exactly the, the script that you need to download in and store it into your local directory. So go into your Ubuntu WSL. And let's download this script into this local directory. So type W get and paste that and hit enter. And that's basically it. So you already have the script downloaded to your local directory. So you hit ls and you will see that it's there. So you might want to change something in the script. So hit edit the so we added the install prefix. So instead of an user local, I want to install this tool chain in home slash Ubuntu slash MSP for the All right. Save that and let's change the attribute so that the script can be executed. There you go. And what next? Next, we're going to execute a script. But before we execute a script, I think I forgot something. Let's go back to the script. So we need to install uh, some of the dependencies, which is listed right here in the comment section. So you select that and copy. Okay. Let's exit from this editor and paste it. And hit enter. Provide the password. Hit yes for that. So this is going to take some time. So feel free to fast forward. And I'll be right back.
All right, so dependency installation is done. Let's execute the script now. So I'm gonna fast forward this video. Feel free to skip if you want to, and I'll be right back. Okay, so just want to test if the script is actually working. Sorry, if the toolchain is actually working. We go to MSP430 slash spin slash MSP430 GCC that's V. And yeah, so that's instance that toolchain is seems to work. All right, next we're gonna clone Contiki NG. So let's go ahead and go to your WSL, the Ubuntu WSL. And let's make sure we know where we are right now. So you can type in PWD. You're at home Ubuntu. Now let's clone with a git command, git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash contiki ng slash contiki ng. Give it some time, it's gonna do the cloning of the main uh, source code of Contiki NG. And within that Contiki NG, there is also a tool that is called Kuja, the IoT network simulator. All right, so let's change into that directory so that we can pull uh, the dependency of Kuja. So git submodule init tools Kuja. And then git submodule update. So this two command is gonna pull changes require all dependency of Kuja IoT network simulator. All right, now let's go into that directory, change directory to tools kuja and execute gradle w run. Um, seems like there is a missing dependency, the Java. So let's do that now. Let's go to install uh, Zudo apt get install open gdk dash 17 dash gdk. Provide with the password. Hit yes for that. So this is gonna take some time to install OpenGDK. So please feel free to fast forward the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so OpenGDK installation is done. Let's try it again. Gradle W run so it's downloading gradle 7.5.1 binary it's gonna take some time as well so i'll be right back And there you have it. We have a Kuja, the Contiki Network Simulator up and running. Let me try to enlarge this a little bit. Let me resize that. Let's check if everything is working. Yes, we can create new simulations. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to close this because I forgot to do one thing, which is I need to export where the MSP430 toolchain is. So type in export path equal sign slash home slash ubuntu slash msp430 slash bin and then colon dollar sign path 
at the rest of the system path and let's try to do it again gradle w run all right so we are in let me resize this a little bit bigger now let's go ahead and create a new simulation you can put any name i just put it eka ipv6 simulations and hit create now i'm gonna add a server so add a mode sorry about that add a sky mode and let's name it server go browse for the example the rpl udp udp server.c hit compile and create i'm gonna create five of these modes now let's add the client so go ahead and add a new sky mode name it client and browse to the example of udp client.c hit compile and then create i'm gonna also get five of these modes all right now to distinguish the mode types you can click the view and check mark the mode types in there now you can see which one is server and client so if you hit start and there you have it so now we have the kuja the iot network uh, simulator running on windows 11 and yeah that's basically it so let me resize this a little bit so that you can see all the messages resize this window as well i'm gonna just set the viewport in the middle and this is the radius the coverage of each node so if you click one of the node and then you can see uh, how far the radio transmission can get to one to another all right so that's it for today's video so that's how easy to set up uh, Contiki NG with Kuja and IoT network simulator on Windows with a sky mode and if you have any questions please feel free to write down in the comment down below and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the future videos from this channel and that's it enjoy the video